Hey guys, it's Seeking Tiki again. We're back, and in this episode, we're finally leaving Key Largo and going to Key West. Yeehaw! So right now we're on the Overseas Highway on Seven Mile Bridge, going to Key West. Seven Mile Bridge, the most beautiful place in the world, possibly, if you go to Key West. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Even if you fly in, rent a car and drive to Seven Mile Bridge. Stunning drive. And we're staying at Leo's Campground. It's actually in Cow Key, just north of Key West, and it's a great spot. Leo's Campground was amazing. If you like to walk or jog, it's actually walking, jogging distance from essentially all of Key West. I walked all the way to Mallory Square. I think it's just several miles. Um, by myself, just walking along, seeing the sights, and obviously an easy bike ride, um, motorcycle ride, drive. Leo's was a beautiful spot. Very cool, very Instagrammable spot too, as you'll see. Really great art there, really interesting, what are they, iguanas? Iguanas, yeah. <laughs> Massive iguanas. Um, really cool kind of on-site lake. If you get a chance to stay there, definitely check it out. So, of course, the first thing we had to do when we got to Key West was go to Mallory Square and Duval Street. 
Yeah, Mallory Square is one of the kind of main squares in Key West. You'll probably hear about it on quite a few videos if you've watched other Key West videos. Just a stunning spot um, full of incredible restaurants, beautiful views, tourists from all over the world. Really interesting spot. Definitely a must see when you're in Key West. And then from there, we went from Mallory Square to famous Duval Street. Duval Street! Wah! We'd heard Duval Street was fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think even we were a little surprised. It, it is a, it's a party street. Yeah. It is a real party street. It's kind of like, in my mind, if Vegas and Florida had a baby, <laughs> it would be Duval Street. Um, so if you're there with your family, definitely I would recommend keeping it during the afternoon. Um, for, you know, couples, singles that want to go out, there's definitely a lot of nightlife there, a lot of cool spots, including the super famous Sloppy Joe's restaurant. Yes, we went to the famous Sloppy Joe's. Which was actually incredible. I, I'm not a huge Sloppy <laughs> Joe fan normally, I'm ambivalent. Um, but I had this Sloppy Joe quesadilla there, which was amazing. It was actually a really fun spot to go and really cool for people watching. So check it out when you're on Duval. Then after Sloppy Joe's, we kept walking and it started to rain. Another it's, thunderstorm. <laughs> it's Florida in the summer. Actually, I would say like, just like a, almost like a flash flood downpour. Um, it was pouring. We didn't really intend to, but it, it was coming down so hard at that point that we just sort of ran into the, the nearest place <laughs> within a half a block, which happened to be a Mardi Gras bar, yeah. <laughs> so when in Rome. So after the rain subsided finally, we kept walking and checked out a few more places right on Duval Street. All right, and we saw the world's smallest bar, which happened to be even smaller than Tiny Bar in Austin, Texas. I yep. didn't know there was a smaller bar. <laughs> we used to live in Austin and we thought Tiny Bar was the smallest bar. Nope, nope, Key West has got y'all beat. So that was fun. Yeah, Duval Street was actually really fun in that um, there were so many restaurants, bars, um, really beautiful historical architecture, um, beautiful old, old churches. It's not far from Ernest Hemingway's house yeah. is another must-see location in Key West. A lot of really fun spots. So it is, it's not going to be a place where you're going to get bored at all. A lot of really funky art galleries too, which I really enjoyed going by. Definitely a must-see. Hey, and we found a tiki bar. What? You know we would. Yep, obviously our name, Seeking Tiki. We love a good tiki bar. Uh, we were really excited to find Tiki House. Um, I think just off 
Duval Street. Yes. <laughs> really cool, kitschy little bar. Uh, we were pretty excited, and as per usual, Dan was already <laughs> dressed appropriately for a tiki experience. And we found the world's coolest koozies, little tropical shirts. They were adorable, but also totally not useful. So if you hold your drink in those koozies, the bottom is open <laughs> and the drink will fall out. So adorable. If you're there, pick some up, um, but don't use them. <laughs> Just display them. All right, so we hung out on Duval Street all day. We're very tired. So we're driving back to Leo's campground where the pups are waiting for us. They were waiting for us and um, one of the actually great features about Leo's campground as well is that they have a really good dog park. Um, not every private campground has dog parks so we really appreciated that. Yes, and of course, before we go, Sarah is showing off some of her new Key West gear. Here I am modeling my, my late night Key West gift shop fashion. So, of course, we're not done with Key West yet. We have one more video from Key West coming up next. Exactly, and Key West is so cool. I mean, we, we could make probably a dozen videos on this, so these are just a few little clips of some, some of the awesome times we had there. Um, anyone who's been there can tell you you could just stay there forever. So um, it's amazing, and upcoming we'll have our third of a three-part Key yes. Florida Keys series, and we hope you love it. Cheers, guys. We'll see you on the road. See you on the road.